If you need to hang something heavy, such as a TV, it's important to secure it to the wall by screwing it directly into the wall studs. But if you just need to hang pictures or towel bars or even shelves, you don't need to find the stud. You can instead use hollow wall anchors. In this episode of Home and Garden for Mere Mortals, Tom from the Homecraft Chronicles is going to show you some of the options in wall anchors. Hey guys, Tom from the Homecraft Chronicles here. Today on Home and Garden for Mere Mortals, I'm going to try to demystify wall hangers and hollow wall anchors. Let's start with expanding anchors. You want to use the smallest hole possible in your wall that you can get the anchor to go in. Because once you put the screw in, it's going to expand this out and kind of bite into the drywall, thus giving you the strength. My rule of thumb when I'm hanging something, I always assume I'm going to find a stud. Just say I'm hanging something and I'm going to put a screw in so that went in and it just spun around, so I don't have a stud. So at least I know that's the hole that I want to use. So I would just follow up my drill hole with a drill bit and then see if I can get the anchor in there. And you can, if needed, drive it with a hammer. So then when I follow it up with the screw, that anchor will expand in the drywall and hold the, hold the anchor in place. So next, Let's talk about a, a threaded drywall anchor. And this I'd have to say is probably my go-to anchor. And these actually will drill their own hole. You don't have to have a starter hole. So what you would do, put it where you want it. There's a, there's a point on the end, drive it in. It'll get flush with the drywall and then you can pretty much drive a screw in. Again, once you put the screw in, the anchor expands in the back of the wall. So next, this is called a molly. And this is kind of a hybrid of the threaded anchor and what's coming next, the toggle. This also self taps. So what you would do, find your point on the wall. Once this is driven into the wall, this toggle the drill part kind of splits and it becomes it forms like a T. And then you would drive a machine screw in. There's a thread in the back part which would pull this anchor, the back part, up against the drywall to give you a tight fit. After you have the molly in the wall, then you would just either by hand or with a screw drive, screw gun run that screw, trap the drywall behind it. These aren't my favorite because like you can see it kind of makes a mess out of the drywall. They're supposed to be self-tapping but not a big fan. Finally you have the toggle bolt. Toggle bolt works similarly to the molly bolt. You drive this through the wall and then it's spring-loaded and then you pull it back and tighten it up against the drywall. The only problem with this is you have to, whatever you're hanging, you have to put this in before. So say, just say we're hanging this paper towel. I would put the screw through the paper towel onto the toggle and then you have to drill the right size hole. Roughly on the smaller sizes, whatever size toggle is, figure go a quarter inch so this is an eighth inch toggle. So if I'm going to a quarter inch bigger, I want to drill a three eighths hole. So say we're going to put our paper, my paper towel here. I would drill the hole, fold up the wings, push it through the hole, and then the wings are going to expand. And the only problem with toggles is you, when you're tightening, you have to kind of pull back to keep resistance against those wings so they'll hold against the drywall as you're tightening the screw. And that's where the toggles can, in my opinion, can be kind of a pain. So that's pretty tight and then I would just put the other side in. I would always generally start with a screw because who knows, you might get lucky and you might hit the wood. In that case, I hit. I happen to hit the stud, so I'm good to go. Now that we have the basics, 
let's go hang something. I'm going to use the wall shield that came with my towel bar. So I just have to drill the appropriate size hole and your instructions will tell you what size. Press in or tap in your wall shield. Now you have something that the this, this screw will bite on. And then before I snug it up, I just want to make sure it's plumb. So just tighten up the screw and I'm good to go. I hope you found these tips helpful. You know, there's a wide variety of products when it comes to wall anchors and picture hangers. I just merely scratch the surface. If you have something else that I didn't think of, let me know in the comments below so we can share it with everybody. If this is your first time here at Home and Garden for Mere Mortals, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of the great projects we have for you each and every week. When you're done here, come on over, check me out at the Homecraft Chronicles. I have a lot more projects just like this to help you turn your house into your own home sweet home. Until I see you next time, right here on Home and Garden for Mere Mortals, my name is Tom from the Homecraft Chronicles. I'll see you real soon. Combi drill is a power tool that's most commonly powered by batteries. It has different functions to perform different tasks. A good example of this is to think about mounting a flat screen TV to the wall. You're going to need it to be nice and secure, so that's going to mean drilling the wall and securing the TV bracket in place with possibly screws or even bolts in some cases.